hello. Oh my goodness. Okay. I finally managed to take a photo that I liked. <laughs> oh, hello, friends. Oh my god. I was so ready to stream and then my entire body was like, actually, you're not ready. Everything is going to start hurting immediately and you're going to be incredibly late. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I expect no less. Hi! Hello! How are you all doing? Can you believe this? I'm like slightly consistent oh my god uh, who is she this is not cyrus spooks what the fuck <laughs> hi lonely hi ken hi elise hello enigma hi kelsey kelsey happy birthday i hope you had a great day i saw what you said in ghouls that really sucks if there's anything that we can do to put a little band-aid on that let us know dentist oh i have my alerts muted i'm so sorry because of msq shenanigans thank you for the 25 gifted sub look at our sub count we lost 400 we lost 400 subs since i took my big fucking break i'm gonna jump <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the 25 gifted to everyone that got gifted a sub. Welcome to the Covenant of your badgements and your stay. DK, thank you so much for the Prime sub as well. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, Avalon. Oh my god. Consistent streamer. Hair tug. <laughs> thank you. The day got better. My mom took me out for dinner and the witch knows me, so she brought my dessert out with a candle saying hi to me. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, well, I'm glad that made things turn around for you, Kelsey. That's really good to hear. I have 400 asses to kick. You do. 400 asses to kick or 400 gifts to give. <laughs> oh, Elle, I hope you enjoy your subby. Thank you, John Carter. Thank you. I actually am feeling pretty good about myself today. I don't know. I didn't do anything different with my makeup look, but I guess because like for once I was feeling confident without the makeup on. So, like, there's already a really good, like, positive base, you know? <coughs> Hello, John. Feeling good? Feeling great? How are you? How is your adventure in Eorzea going? Because I know you just made your new character, right? Griffin, thank you for the form of the I appreciate it. Thank you. Hello, Brave. Saren! Saren, hello! Thank you for the raid! Hello, friends. My name is Syrah. I am a Final Fantasy XIV streamer. We are finally an Endwalker. It took me a very, very long time to get here, but I got here a month ago, and I've barely made any progression. <laughs> I've been taking my sweet fucking time. Yo, was my hand super red? Yeah, it is. Hello, raiders. Hello. I hope you had a great stream, Saren. Welcome, welcome. Get comfy. We're going to be doing some Endwalker questing today. I just finished, or I just, like, got to the quest with the the elephant lady, uh, Kryle's friend, and she <laughs> she gave me this lamp to, like, t like, test out my ether or something like that. I honestly don't remember what happened in the last room. I was coughing too much that like I all I could do was like focus on trying to speak that I didn't really process like what I was saying. Oh, do we have a new a new friends joining us? Look at that. <laughs> <coughs> Hello Tooth and Claw, how are you? Cat ear time? Yes, the cat ears will be on. Yes. Anytime I wear the cat ears now, I like, I get very emotional. They're like my emotional support cat ears. I don't know. I don't know. It just, it just makes me like know that a fun good time is coming up. Also crying. The queen is back. What's up, Swoon? I remember that we tried to do an alliance and you almost died. Yeah, that was a really fucking bad idea. I don't know what like possessed me. Oh, hey, me. look at that. Oh my god, tier three for seven months. Thank you, Red. Thank you. Welcome back to the Covenant of your Vegemals and your stay. Did you see my DM on Discord? I actually did see your DM, but I was dying when I saw it, so I didn't get around to replying, but I will reply as soon as I can. Fun times are the best. Yeah, that's the thing with like playing Final Fantasy XIV. It is so much fun, but it comes at a cost. It's like, oh, you're enjoying the narrative you're enjoying the raids well i'm gonna kill off a character now and i'm gonna make you really emotional i'm gonna make characters almost die for like fighting for you how about that what the fuck's going on with my hair you see that no we're chilling okay <coughs> i love it though i have an alt account that i am well i have many but i have one called uh marshmallow 
who I will probably be streaming with very soon. I have her and Pedro P -p 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 Cal. Um, and I want to, I want to go back to Heaven's Ward. If you all would, you know, accompany me, that'd be great. But I would love to replay Heaven's Ward. Um, and so I was thinking that I could do some, like, PNG tuber streams. Very low energy, you know, just vibes. And, and go through the MSQ again. Can you shout out those accounts so I can drop a follow? What accounts? For Saren? For Fahrenheit? I believe they did just get a shout out. We could do another one. A mod can bump another. Oh! Oh, you meant my... Oh! <laughs> Yeah, no, Marshmallow is my other Final Fantasy character. Sorry, that is what I meant. It's, it's not a separate account. It's the same one. It'll always be on, on Syra. It'll always be here. Hi, Anchi! I was down to play through Heavens Over Peeps. Heck yeah. Oh my god, a tuning. You're tuning to me. Hello, Chilmere. Hi, everyone. It's happy to finally cast stream. Hello! How are you? Welcome! Oh. Sorry if you see me, like, rubbing my, like stomach like my rib area it's still a little tense it's still a little ouchy ouchy join you i gotta go through heaven's road osk oh my god meant to be nissan you can join us <coughs> red will be accompanying me as hot chocolate so we ball we can have a little a little group <laughs> oh man so how do we feel about the new legend of zelda game coming out soon I I saw a tweet today saying it's coming out in less than two weeks and I have to put my phone down. I actually cannot believe that it's like finally here. What is it called again? Like Tears of the Kingdom, I think? T-O-T-K? That sounds about right. <laughs> I know it's so soon! It's so freaking soon! Yeah! It's coming out really soon. My pre-order shift. Oh, fuck yeah. Comes out right after I graduate. Perfect timing. Oh my god, you can no-life it easily. I'm not ready. I haven't even finished Horizon's Burning Shores DLC. I've never even finished Horizon Zero Dawn, period. Like, I need to get back into that game. I need to replay it on stream, I think. Wait, did I? No, I did finish it. I just don't remember anything of it. I've never- I didn't play the sequel. I've never played the DLCs. <laughs> it's coming right as I really should be focused on work. Listen. Listen. Playing the new Zelda game will be your reward for working hard. This is my first time in Heaven's Word. I haven't progressed past the meeting. Oh my god, actually? Bet. We'll play with you too. Sorry, it gets almost too wild. You're, you're, look, listen, you're telling me. A funky, a funky narrative, and I'm in. But yeah, I'm thinking about hooking up my Switch to my PC again, because I have two docks. Um, because a long time ago, I used to, like, you know, have a permanent, like, Switch setup, because I used to stream a lot more Switch games on Twitch. Um, but I'm thinking about streaming the new Zelda game on Twitch. I haven't played a Zelda game in a very long time, and I haven't played a Zelda game on stream in a very long time. So, chat. How do we feel about that? I watched uh, that? Bet. Good! I would hope so. This Twitch. This Twitch. <laughs> Razzle, what's up? New Zelda game comes such as before the Lunar Eclipse 2? Oh, would you look at that? That is a sign. Hey, Kenzo! <coughs> <sighs> Alright, I am gonna grab some hauls because I can feel myself like I can feel a tickle coming and then I think like honestly then we could just jump into Endwalker. It sounds so weird to say that we could just jump into Endwalker. I literally have not played like I have not played the MSQ in like a month. Like I don't know. Let's go. Reckless, thank you for the five month reset. I appreciate it. Oh, step is all. Yes, let me try that one actually. Okay, I'll be right back, chat. Yeah, we'll take care of my throat. <laughs>
All right, arthritis. Yes, your girl has arthritis. Sepsol is medicated, so you won't be able to eat as many as you do hauls. Oh, so I have to like actually pace myself. No. No. Okay. Well, I hope it does the trick at the very least. But yes, I have arthritis and I have asthma and it fucking sucks. My body just does not like me. <coughs> so like, I couldn't wear a push-up bra. I couldn't wear a cute shirt. I just have to sit here looking like a normie. <laughs> no, Ruben! Ruben, thank you for the 61 month resub. Holy shit. Ruben, can we all can we all give Ruben some head pats real quick? Cause that is nutty. Welcome back to the coven, Ruben. How you doing? God, the red bow badge is so freaking cute. It's so so cute. My hair has no volume today. How do I style it, chat? <laughs> what is this? What is this hairstyle? Whatever. <laughs> yes, this is what I like to see. I like to see the head pats. Beautiful. Reckless, thank you for gifting two subbies. Or no, one subby. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the coven, Ethereum. Tonight will be the night that I'll fall for you. I hate the no volume here. It is. I know. Same. They're the fucking worst. Q -woo. Vlad. Thank you for the 44 months, Vlad. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Yo, what's up, Jay? Yeah, I hate it when my hair has no volume. I feel like something is missing. I went through a phase in my life, which was probably just like, it was only a few months last year, but I, I was like straight, no, not straightening. I was curling my hair 24 seven to the point where like my hair was just, I mean, I have wavy hair. But like, it was in a permanent state of curlage and it was so good. <laughs> Are you getting tips about the interview? Fuck yeah. What's your favorite emo band? What is my favorite emo band? This pup count? I don't think pup counts. I don't know if I have a favorite emo band anymore at least. I've been telling people about the benefits of eating dried grapes. You know, raisin awareness. That was no bad pizza meeple. That was fucking bad. Boo! Boo! Tomato! 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 Boo! Boo! <laughs> Get those fucking tomatoes! Boom! Boom! Tomato! Tomato! My curl pattern has gotten so much looser. I'm so sad about it. No. Elise, I think I remember you asking before for like um, hair products for your hair. Avril Lavigne. Okay, if Avril Lavigne counts, then Avril Lavigne is my favorite like emo artist. Oh my god, Rai Rai, hello! I miss you too. I'm so sorry that I haven't been popping into the uh, J3 streams anymore. My attention span is very bad, and I get yelled at every time I go in there. <laughs> right, right. Are you excited for Tears of the Kingdom? I was just telling chat that I'm going to be streaming it when it. Yeah, yes! <laughs> oh my god, stop! Shut up! <laughs> Bro, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. I haven't played a Zelda game in like a hot minute. I'm, I'm ready. I love Legend of Zelda. I love the Zelda universe so much. And it, it genuinely feels like I've forgotten so much about it. Because when I was a kid, I was really into the Zelda games, especially Minish Cap and Twilight Princess. Those are my favorite games growing up. Um, and I knew so much, like, so much lore that now, like, about Hyrule and shit, that now I'm just kind of clueless. And it's like, it hurts. It hurts to know that, like, I can't name a single, I can't, I can't, coin a single like zelda reference anymore i used to read the guidebooks for me too do i watch zeltic i don't know who that is actually grits hello my only ingestion of legend of zelda is rule 34 smut kelsey that is that you know i'm not surprised i'm not surprised and i'm not disappointed either 
Hello, Hideo. I can't fall asleep since when it's almost morning here now. Ooh, what time is it for you? Oh, three days grace fucked. Okay, I used to like three days grace. Ooh, now I'm cramping. Oh my god, I can't win. I got my sister brother well. She doesn't even play games, but she loves it. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. I feel like Zelda games are a great, you know, first video game for people because it's got a combination of like beautiful colors, really intriguing side characters, main characters and enemies. You know, the world is beautiful. The story is really good. You got puzzles, you know, there's like a little bit of everything in in like a Zelda game for people, you know? Zelda's great for even people who don't use the game. Yeah, I agree. When does it come out? Tears of the Kingdom comes out in like two weeks. Let me get the exact date. Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom initial release at February 21st, 1986. Yeah, that's it. May 12th! May 12th! So less than two weeks. Unbelievable. Presently here, hello, how are you? Oh, it's 5.31? Well, good morning to you. That's next week? Wait, that's... N no, is that actually next week? No shot. Wait, let me open up this fucking calendar. Bro, it comes out next Friday. Yo. Oh, that's hype as shit. I own two Zelda games, but I haven't finished either of them. Oh, which ones do you have, Lissy? Also, hello, Lissy. Happy Mother's Day to any Zelda gamer moms. Hi, Davey. I heard something about a critically acclaimed video game. I know nothing about that. Do you mean the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV with a free trial that includes the entirety of a Realm Born and award winning and the award winning expansion Heavensward uh, free with no restrictions on playtime up to level 60? That critically acclaimed MMORPG? I literally. So, my friend Emily, who some of you know, she's in the server. Um, I'm trying to convince her to get into Final Fantasy 14 and she was saying that like she was telling her friend that maybe it's time for her to get into an MMO and so I hit her with the copy pasta but I didn't like I from memory and she was like not you sending me the copy pasta and I was like girl no it's worse than that it's worse than that I knew it from memory <laughs> Oh, Jedi Survivor. So what is that game? I've been seeing it pop up on my- Oh! Thank you for the dono. For your chloroseptic sore throat spray. Oh, Raz, thank you so much. That's very sweet of you. Thank you for um trying to fix my throat. I appreciate it. Thank you for getting me things to put down my throat. <laughs> it's a Star Wars action adventure game. Ooh, okay. It's a sequel to the last pretty good Star Wars game. Interesting. Is the soul's light with a Star Wars skin? Interesting. Okay, 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 okay. So I don't know anything about it, um, but I've been seeing some friends who've like worked on it and like whatnot pop up on my, like it's been on my feed a ton lately. And I don't know, I, I kind of want to check out a Star Wars game, to be honest. I used to love playing Battlefront on the PS4, I want to say it was, the PS4, I think. It was fun. That was so much fucking fun. <laughs> I, look, okay, listen. So here's the thing. If I play... If I play... Brain fart. If I play, like, a Star Wars game, I have to with my mom. Like, my, like, I, like, I'll play it, like, not on stream. Like, I'd play it on the couch at my mom beside me. Because my mom is a huge Star Wars fan. Chat, I've told y'all the story of how I got into Star Wars, right? Or not even got into, because I, I wouldn't say I'm a Star Wars fan. But I I would stream with my mom, but I I protect my mom a little too much. I refuse to to, you know. So the way that I got into Star Wars, um, so when I was a kid, uh, I was more into Lord of the Rings and, you know, 
Like any, any movie that was like high fantasy, but like medieval Renaissance style fantasy, you know, like like swords and shields and dragons and the occasional magic like that was up my alley. So when it came to Star Wars, you know, my family tried getting me to watch it when I was a kid. It just never like clicked, you know, it was and it was the same thing with like Harry Potter. Like I just did not like them, you know, um, I, I just couldn't understand them because to me it's like oh well this is an elf and this is magic and this is what they do that's not an elf that's not how magic works you know um but i did have fond memories of the prequels uh, specifically pod racing and jar jar binks i loved the pod racing and i love jar jar binks and that's all i could remember i used to get like one of the star wars films and princess not princess pirates of the caribbean mixed up like i used to, you know the scene in i think it's like the second movie when they're like on the island and and like i think like what's his fucking name jack sparrow gets like kidnapped or whatever and all all those shenanigans i always thought jar jar binks was a part of that <laughs> like i don't know why but i thought jar jar binks had something to do with it Anyways, so, so fast forward now to when The Force Awakens was coming out. Um, my mom was very excited. She was really excited to be able to go see a Star Wars movie in theaters with me. Because when she was younger, she would, you know, she was lining up outside the theater to see the movies at midnight. Like that, like that was my mom. My mom is a little sci-fi gal. Um... And so I, and so my mom's birthday is a few days after Christmas and all of the Star Wars movies, apart from the Han Solo movie, if I remember correctly, um, all come out in December. They all come out around Christmas time, uh, which is great for marketing, I guess. Um, and so I told myself that I was finally going to commit. I bought my mom a Star a Stormtrooper blanket, a Stormtrooper t-shirt. Um, I got her... I got her a, was it a, 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 a Boba Fett um, planter with succulents in it? And I bought her the, because I know she has like the, one of the special edition like VHS trilogy sets or whatever for Star Wars. So I got her the Blu-ray version with all six movies. And so I told her to open, like to open her gift early. And so she opened something like each day and then I got her tickets to see The Force Awakens and to line it up because there are six movies or uh, there are six movies that I bought every night before we went to go see The Force Awakens. We watched one Star Wars movie. So we did we did um, four, five, six, one, two, three, and then The Force Awakens. <coughs> Um, I just want a dummy mommy that will let me eat her out the Oki way. You better not be talking about my mommy. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. I support it though. <laughs> Ray, thank you for the eight months. Ricky, hello. Thank you for the lurk. You better not be talking about my mama. Mm-mm-mm. But. Yeah, so that's how I, I how I got into Star Wars. My mom loved Rey's character so much that I even cosplayed her. I did a Darth Rey cosplay. Let me see if I can find it. Let's see. Let's see Cyrus Spooks Rey cosplay. Oh yeah, here we go. And that's how I got my um my name for Rayanera. Rayanera. It, oh, this isn't the full version. This is the crop version. Fuck. I'm sick too. Feel better. I'm sorry that you're also sick. Sick gang. I hope you feel better as well. Thank you for the four month resub booth. <laughs> um, but yeah. Took this in a. F there was so, uh, so much Photoshop going on down here to make this fucking work. And then there's this photo too. And then th this does not make sense. Like this should be like right here, but we ball. And this one. This is huge, by the way. This photo is like, it's like this big, but I cropped it and I 
can't find the full size version. I think I have it on my phone. But I did so much fucking Photoshop in this. It looks so sick. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, the lore behind Rayanera's name is very, very simple. Um, I So I wanted something that had Ra at the end, like Syra. And I wanted to include Ray because my mom loves Ray. So I was like, Rara? Don't like that. And I basically just kept jumbling up letters until something sounded right. And so then I got Rayanera. And I dropped the Y from Ray's name from Star Wars. And I just put um, an accent instead. And that's how I got the name Rayanera. Very simple. But I've now had that name for like eight years, I want to say. When did The Force Awakens come out? Actually, wait. Did I have it? For that long? Yeah, I've had that name for like seven years. Seven years then? Something like that. Yeah. <coughs> Just a little, a little fun family lore. I love, you know, sharing dorky interests with my family. It makes me feel like I'm a little bit in like a safe place. One second, chat. Hold on. I'll be right, 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 right back. Oh, okay. Hello. Um. <coughs> oh, I'm dying. But yeah, it's nice having like a nerdy family, honestly. Um, cause they like, they tease me about my interests, but they are like so for it. Do you know what I mean? My, um, I remember when I was showing my family Castlevania, at first they were like, girl you're watching an animated series about vampires okay and then and then who joined me to watch the entire series who sat in the living room with me to watch everything my mom and my uncle boom it was the same thing with game of thrones they were like game of thrones you're watching that that looks dumb who watched the entire thing with me my family loved it so much that like my, like my mom and I binged the entire series up until like the latest um season <laughs> in like less than a week a week tops I think and then when the new season came out every week my family would come over to my place and we would watch it together or I would go to theirs and we would watch it together and my uncle he had a, he has a goblet okay my uncle has a goblet he would fill it with red wine like a Lannister at the beginning of like of every episode and he will hold up his goblet and he would dance to the fucking Game of Thrones theme song. And my family had the audacity to bully me. <laughs> my family is so cute. Like I I adore them so much. <coughs> You still deserved it? Oh, I absolutely deserved it, but, you know. Give me one secky chat. <laughs> Red Wedding. <clears throat> My jizz band? I 
I'm sorry. Hold on. Your jizz band? My jizz band would be all Ithorians and be called the Four Throat Jizz Blasters. What the fuck is a jizz band, first of all? My family, friends, and I did the same for the Game of Thrones finale. We had Lannister, Stark, and White Walker themed cocktails that we each made. Oh, that reminds me. My family bought my cousin the limited edition, like, White Walker fucking... What was it? Vodka or whatever? And they didn't give me shit. I had to truck to the wine store on my own to buy the Game of Thrones wine. That wasn't even part of, like, the new series shit. The new season shit. It was old shit. I had to get it myself. And I introduced them to this series. The audacity! I think I still have the wine bottles at my mom's. I think she's using them for, like, flowers right now. <coughs> I know, fucking foul, man. After everything I did, after everything I did, after everything I do for my family, I got my mom to meet fucking Sala and Gimli. What's his fucking name? John Reese Davies. John Reese Davies flirted with my mom while I was right there, and I was like, "All right, this is happening." Okay. <laughs> Like, I took a solo photo with him, and then I was like, okay, and now we're gonna take another one, but with my mom. And my mom, like, my mom is so extra. My mom is so fucking extra. So the way that they had, like, the photo shoots, <coughs> the way they had the photo shoots was, like, it was, um, like, here is the, 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 the backdrop, and here is the wall. And so you have to line up, like, beside the backdrop. And depending on the, on the room... Um, like, it, you either get to see everybody that's lined up, or you don't, like, or it's, like, very private. This is very private. And so, like, I'm like, okay, yeah, and, like, now my mom. My mom, she, like, comes out from, like, behind the thing, and she's just like, <laughs> and he's like, mama, and they just start going off. And I'm just standing there, like, <laughs> and the photographer is looking at me, like, <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking incredible John Riz Davies <laughs> Bro literally <sighs> The apple doesn't fall far from the tree It doesn't <laughs> It really doesn't I love it I love it Andy Circus though When we took the photos of Andy Circus My mom I think was like a little bit more intimidated Because she just kind of like shoot off But then when it was my turn for the solo photo Like this time we did it the other way around We did the group shot and then the solo and and uh, and then he like he, he knew that we were getting a second one and he just he kind of like idled for a second because it was like oh like why are they leaving and I'm like oh like this one's just gonna be us and he was like oh okay <laughs> and I was like is that okay and he was like yeah of course and I was like ah! <laughs> man looked he looked high as a fucking kite but Andy Circus he is so sexy that man. I'm in my fucking little cat ears, like, <laughs> oh my god, like, <laughs> oh, good stuff. <sighs> did he ever go full Schmeagol? No. No, he did not. I mean, my only other, like, funky experience with uh, meeting celebrities at conventions was Elijah Wood, but everyone knows <laughs> Everyone knows how that went. <laughs> That's my fucking boy. Jin, hello! Hi, Recovery City, thank you! <coughs> I don't know how that went. Oh. So, so, so I met Elijah Wood many years ago, dressed as Wilfred. Y'all know Wilfred? Y'all know the show? It's an Australian show that ended up having an American version, but with the same actor, the same guy who played, um, Wilfred. <laughs> and, uh, and I, 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 uh, I, I, uh, uh, -huh. uh Elijah Wood, Syrah, Wilfred. <laughs> Let's see if I can find the, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
But look, <laughs> but look, look, you see that? <laughs> I, in the middle of summer, I was in this fucking dog costume, okay, bro? Like, so I go to get my, ugh, I don't know if I have it in here any, no, I don't. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. <coughs> um, but... Um, I, uh, I went to get an autograph for him and I had an anxiety attack. So I started crying. Um, but I was just kind of like, like a, like a, like a proper one. <laughs> and he looked at me and he's like, is everything okay? And I'm like, I'm just having like a minor anxiety attack. Just like, give me a second. And he was like, you got this. He grabs my hand and he looks at me. He's like, you got this. You're fine. I believe in you. You got this. And then him and I just start like banging the table. We're like, yeah, like you got this. And like the person beside him is like, wrap it up. And we're like, oh. And so he signed something. I don't fucking remember what it was. Um, and then I left. And then when it came time uh, time for the photos, we started banging. Shut up. And then when it came down to like taking the photo with him, it was one of those situations where like it was at the end of the day, um, photo ops were running really late. And so like he like you can see the people lining up. So he he saw me. He looks at me. He starts beaming. And he's like, oh. and I was like, oh. and then uh, I run in for the photo. He's like, you made it. And I was like, I did. Um, <coughs> and so like he pulls me in, and like I didn't have time to pose. That's why like I have a weird fist. Like the photo is so fucking weird. Like it's so like it's just so weird. He's like he, he's like gripping me. <laughs> Um, <coughs> and then I tweeted it and then one day I, I jokingly tweeted him and I was like about to hit delete. I was like, I would do it. <laughs> Can I hold on? Is it? Hold on. John. Chat. Let me cook. Hold on. Oh my god, it's... Is it... <laughs> oh I would do unspeakable things just to get a follow from what Elijah. 1.22 a.m. I was literally about to delete the tweet. And then in a minute, immediately, immediately, this guy comes in. Unspeakable? I hit him with the both unspeakable and untweetable, my dear friend. He said, my oh my, followed me immediately. I said, well, that was easy. He's like, you had me at on. <laughs> And we've been friends since. <laughs> he's a he's a really great dude. He's really chill, really down to earth, very fucking funny. But man, <laughs> oh. yeah. When is Elijah doing a Let's Play stream with you? <coughs> I should do a horror game with him. He's the he's the reason why I finally saw A Girl Walks Home Alone at night. It's a it's the first Persian like Western vampire film ever. Um, and he was like, "Watch that movie. Go watch that movie." He was like, "Fucking like DMing me like yeah," and I was like, "Okay." I know Kelsey. We're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna talk about it. That movie was sick? Yeah, it's a fucking banger film. <coughs> Lala Phil player Elisha what? Would he be a Lala? Would he be a Lala? Oh my god, probably. <laughs> I should get him into into Final Fantasy. That or a cat boy? He would be a baby cat boy. Actually, you know what? I can kind of see him pulling out a cure and I'm not for it.
If you play a Hure in Final Fantasy XIV, why would you do that? Like, why would you do that? You could be a cat. You could be a tiger. You could be literally anything you want. And you picked a human? You know? That's, like, one thing that, like, I never understand. It's, like, you are playing a fantasy game that gives you, like, a plethora of, like, you know, species that you can roleplay as. And you pick human? <coughs> Subtweeting J. Charlemagne? Absolutely. When am I not talking shit about that man? Let's be real. Thylanders are an exception? True. That's actually fair. But it's like, look, you have, like, cat girls. Like, look. Look at us. Look at the pussycats. That could be you. You don't want to be that? Speaking of. Elena, hello, how are you? Speaking of. Shall we get into this game? I got finagled and my oh shit i almost said stop streaming and my settings got reset so y'all are gonna have to tell me if the audio is okay <coughs> oh my god i can't believe it's may oh you know what that means though it's 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 asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. I'm brown. I'm Asian. Give me all your fucking money. <laughs> I look. I, hey, yo, look. Okay, it's AAPI Month, but also I have asthma and arthritis. That's also AA, baby. Okay. So. Okay. Double zoinks. Okay. I'm Asian. I'm asthmatic. And I'm arthritis Okay? Give me the goods. Support me. This month. This is my month. And Twitch didn't fu- no, no one hit me up, by the way. Not as- I mean, that's fair because I haven't really been working consistently. So, I mean, like, who would want to work with me? You know, I barely post on Instagram and stuff anymore. But not a single person or organization hit me up to work with them for AAPI month. Hello? Hello? Does nobody, does nobody love this brown cat girl anymore? Gangsters, what's up guys? Boom, Gothic, that's what let's I'm talking go. about. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Yeah, give me that dollar. Oh, God, I'm fucking rich. Thank you for the hundred bitties. <coughs> I know, can't believe they would ignore front page Twitch streamers. Sorry, spooks. I have not been on the front page in quite a while. One of these days. One of these days. I need honorary head in celebration of AAPI month, bro. Me fucking too. Nope. Doing what I'm told. Now that is a good boy. Now that is a good fucking boy. Oh my god. <coughs> Dentist! Dentist! Thank you for the hundred dollar donation! Thank you! You just bought me a bunch of Advil! Thank you so much! I appreciate that so much! Dentist giving out dentist money as he should. Such a good boy. He's so obedient. Can you believe that? I tell him to send me money and he does. Thank you for celebrating this little brown girl during AAPI month. I appreciate it. I'm really hoping that this month I'll actually be able to stream consistently because I miss working. I genuinely miss streaming. I miss working. I miss hanging out with everybody. But like my body just will not let me sit in front of a computer and entertain anymore. <clears throat> and it like really sucks. <coughs> it really, really sucks. Um, because like even when I use my PNG tuber, sometimes it feels like... Like, I, I still have to perform, obviously, because I have to speak. But, like, with the way that my lungs and my throat are going, it's like, I can't even fucking talk. <gasps> Vlad, you did not just spend a hundred, like, rupees on nothing. There is no... Vlad, there is no shot. You could be hydrating chat. You could have been hydrating us.
Thank you for the hydration, Kelsey. See, Kelsey's a real one. Wait, at least you did it too? You're all wild. Thank you for the posture check. Kelsey! Not the nothing redemptions. It does suck when the body doesn't want a body and you have to juggle health needs. It does. <coughs> it really does suck. Because, like, I I haven't done, like, my photo shoots. Like, I haven't done anything because, like, even posing really, really hurts. Um, I know that I'll get better. I know. I know I'll be okay. And I'm very, very, very grateful. So, everyone, quickly give yourself a head pat. Okay? I want to see some head pats. Okay? But I'm very grateful that I have a community that is patient with me. I keep farting. I hope you guys can't hear it. But I'm very grateful that I have a community that is incredibly patient with me and understands that, like, you know, I'm not abandoning y'all, you know? Like, I'm not trying to be flaky. It's just, like, I am always in a state of, like, am I dying or can I survive today? You know? <clears throat> and, yeah, y'all definitely make this job a lot easier because I don't feel pressured to work the only pressure i have is like the pressure that i put on myself which like i'm all for but you're all so loving and gentle and patient and you know kind so it means it means a lot to me that i that i'm able to take like a week or two off and y'all will still be here when i come back <clears throat> So thank you. So give yourself a pat on the back because you're making this dreamer very happy and very, um, you make me feel very safe and secure. So thank you. Well, I love y'all too. I love you, Kelsey. <clears throat> thank you, Davey. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> I found the other night the horrifying thing I found the other night is that crocodiles can gallop? What is Red doing? Wait, crocodiles can gallop? What the fuck? No matter how long I wait, I'll always be here for you. Thank you, dentist. <gasps> no, you! <laughs> Thank you for creating this space. Of course. Of course. I work super, 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 super hard to cultivate a community that is a com a sweet combination of loosey goosey and strict. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just want everyone to feel as safe as you all make me feel. You know, I do my best. That's why sometimes I'm hard on y'all because I'm like, hey yo, <laughs> I know you're better than this. Don't make me cry. It's my first time here. Good. I'm always crying when I stream. It's your fucking turn, chat. <laughs> <coughs> Have you not seen a croc sit in the water? I know they, like, go like this, but, like, I didn't know they galloped. Safe enough to tell stories about shitting yourself on a dark October night? Kelsey, like, if you shit yourself when we hang out this month, I will never, never shut up about it. I hope you know that. I'm actually tearing up. I had a rough mental health day. Oh, Eternal, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry you had a rough mental health day. All right, Red, what did you send me? I fucking knew you were gonna send me mail. What is it? What did I just get from him? Oh, another red panda fact. Did you know red pandas are actually more of a night owl? In the wild, they prefer solitary. Sorry, no loading. Oh, I just noticed this renewed. Thank you for the five month reason, Saren, and thank you for the for the raid, by the way. <coughs> Red pandas are actually more of a night owl. In the wild, they prefer solitary and nocturnal lifestyles. They usually sleep most of the day if they aren't eating bamboo. You know, I really thought this bitch was gonna send me something really sweet because I was being really sweet with chat. And so I saw him get up and I was like, aww. Aww, husband was gonna send me something nice. No! He sends me a fucking red panda fact. I got this though. Look at him! Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Did Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Look, I can explain. I can explain. I can explain, chat. I actually don't. 
don't even have context. I don't even remember what that was for. Hi. <laughs> That's just married life. <coughs> um, do you know red pandas like to hide out in in, uh, in bedrooms? Yeah, now you know. <laughs> All right. Do you know you don't get pruny because you're wet, but because your brain thinks you're wet? Wait, I thought I got pruny because all of the moisture in my body was gone. It dried out. Wait, no, that's not possible because you get pruny when you're in water, so how could you be dry if you're wet? Wait, what? I hate this conversation. Okay. Oh! Hello! Hi, Luna! I did not realize you were there! Alright. Oh my god, and there's a Nissan? Wait, who's this? Oh, it's you! <coughs> I forgot to send you a friend request. <coughs> I need to like clear out my my friends list because I I got so many pals, but like I don't remember who half of these people are. Well, I remember like most of them, but a lot of them are alts and shit. So like I think I'm gonna like clear it up and re-add some people and just like I want to make sure that 90% of my friends list is the FC and like you guys, like my viewers, you know. <coughs> that way, when I see y'all in game, like I know it's you. Your brain does it to make things grippier while wet. So what you're saying... <laughs> is that when I'm wet, I get grippier? Hello, Sarah and team. Bard acknowledged to give a three month reset. Hello, welcome back to the counter. Orchamon's in Red's lap. Not on my fucking screen. <coughs> Alright. And she moved. I'm sorry, Avalon! Okay, so we are doing. Hitting the books. Oh my god, did I finally finish the, um. The other quest? Oh my god, I think I finally finished the, 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 the quest with the, the boys, the boyos. My farting boys. Oh my god! We're starting the next one! Let's fucking go! I don't know how much of this quest we'll be able to get done tonight. I'm probably gonna hop off in the next hour, hour and a half. Um, because I am starting later than I anticipated and I don't want to be up too, 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 too late. This was certainly a period in the combo to follow. Look. Volibearable. Vol- Volibearable? Volibearable. Did I pronounce that correctly? I'm so sorry. Good night, Lissy. Take care. Thank you for popping in. Hi, Larry. Hello. You're ending already? No, not now. Not like yet. Oh, it's, is it snowing? Wait, it snows here? Oh. Hope you feel better soon. Thank you, Born Insane. Thank you for the nine month race. What are we naming our baby? Oh, by the way, chat, how's the audio? Is it okay? Should I make any changes? You're not done the quest line for Thabner? Oh. Oh. Oh, I guess I just don't have the other one unlocked. God fucking damn it. Sounds good. Okay. Um, I'm gonna bump this up a smidge. And hopefully that's gonna be okay. What is this? Diminutive gleaner? Hold on, I'm gonna change my fit. Oh, my game is kinda lagging. The hunt for specimens. The, this. The diminutive cleaner is on the lookout for an able-bodied adventurer. I don't know what this quest is. I want to accept it, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to do blue quests. Okay. So we're gonna go this way. I think I could just TP there, right? Probably. God, this place is so pretty. I literally haven't been to Old Charlian since the stream. Since the first stream when I did Endwalker, I'm pretty sure. All right. I can't not associate this song though with Ponto streams and a bunch of cat girl, like cat girl and bunny girl titties and ass out. Just shake into this beat. <laughs> Enjoy your redecorating, Ava. Every MMO should have an option to just skip to the part your friend's at. Oh my god. I know! But they make you work for it, man. 
You'll want to go back to the Great Works if you want to finish the Thavner quest line. Oh. I. Are you sure? Because I think I am done. No? I swear. I swear we finished it. No, because like I did the, the lamp thing. I did the. Oh, I don't think I accepted the next quest. Fuck! Where do I go? Where? Oh, mm, um, mm, I don't know where. Is it? Is it here, Ilsabard? Is it this? The great work? Okay. Fuck! That's expensive. One k? Oh my god. Back to Thavnir, baby. I was so excited for old Charlie. You know, I'd be like that sometimes. I really do. Okay. Alright. You're right. Y'all were right. Oh yeah, because I have to fucking find out what the hell happened to Astinian. Okay, no. So it's not in here. Let's see. <gasps> Wait, let me put on my Thabner fit. Uh, where is it? 17? Oh, oh. Wait, what am I doing? Me. And Walker made me glad I stocked up on Etherite tickets. Wait, I can stock up on Etherite tickets? What? You're telling me I don't have to be paying for this shit? <laughs> what the fuck? <coughs> the twins will have to wait just a bit longer. I honestly cannot wait to to see Ali's A again. Nidhana, right, that's her name. All right, Nihana regards you with those eyes you could drown in. Hmm, you're a capable warrior too, are you not? Would you be amenable amenable to assisting me with another errand? You see, our talisman requires the use of a special ink, but we have exhausted our stores of a key ingredient for it, spirit weed. Hey, I can give you some catnip. The herb grows not far from here, and I would like to go and harvest some. With the recent spate of kidnappings, however, we Arcasadara, right, travel alone at our peril. Will you not come with me as my escort? I would compensate you for your troubles, of course. I got you, bestie. I'm in your debt. Without further ado, let us head to... Oh, God. Kajaya's? Kajaya's footsteps. It is situated on the road which runs east of the Great Work. Denim! Thank you for the two-year reset! Welcome back to the Covenant of Dramagimus and your stay! Thank you! Welcome back, bestie. All right, chat, what mounts am I bringing out? Would it be racist against my own people if I brought out the magic carpet? <laughs> like, hey, like, I'm, look, I'm Middle Eastern. I can fucking do it. We ball, bitch. <laughs> Happy AAPI month, baby! <laughs> Shout out to my Asians. Let's go. <laughs> P Princess Jasmine. I am P Princess Jasmine. Yes. Yep. I wish this mount was a two seater. <laughs> I could have me and Aladdin on here, bro. Alrighty. <laughs> Pyramid because Jasmine T. Oh my god. Yes! You already brought out the Iago nose? Listen, bitch. I know I have a beak, but you don't gotta point it out all the time. I may be simply imagining it, but I feel as though we're being followed. Who do I gotta fuck up? <gasps> Look out, Pepper! What? What's going on? Hey, yo! Get the fuck away from my elephant queen. Stay away. From my Rani. Thank you very much. <coughs> I got you, baby. You see that? That was clean as fuck. They barely touched me. Wait, can I speak to you again? Hello? There we go. Gods, but that gave me a fright. To think that the moment I ventured outside the safety of the work, thank the sisters I asked you to come with me. You're all right, I hope. Mm hmm. Good, good. Let's continue on then. It isn't far now. Just through these pillars and up the rise. Is this this way? Sick. <gasps> Who's that? Is that someone I can kill or is that a player? <laughs> the blurry face. I guess that is a, 
a, a player. Why am I like, why am I drifting? Yo, stop auto running. Thank you. Wait, let me get back on my fucking ride. Yo, Frenzy, I'm here to sim for cat lady. Me or Pepper? I mean, what's the difference? How you doing, Frenzy? You healing up okay? Not necessarily, James. I am in fucking shambles. But you know what? We're hanging in there. I took some Advil and the arthritis got a smidgen better. I'm not in as much pain as I was earlier. And the lozenge is also really helping with my throat. Notice how I'm not coughing a lot. We ball. It's numb in my throat. Good shit. You're sick? Frenzy, I'm sorry. Did you get my sickness? Did I get you sick? I'm sorry, bestie. <coughs> you wanna go to the gym, but I'm too sick? Well, can you work out at home? Is that a possibility for you? And here we are. Kajaya's footsteps. Or Kajia. Kajaya? Kajia? Was a great dancer. And those who follow in her, well, you know. They come to this place to train and dedicate their dances to their ancestors. A happy benefit of this is that spirit weed grows here in abundance. I will set about harvesting at once, if you'd be so good as to stand guard. The kidnappers aren't likely to return soon, but better safe than sorry. <gasps> oh! Looking for the cutest cat to simp for? Need to help gather up some shambles? Then hit that sub button to Sarah. For each sub you help stop Sarah from sneezing and coughing. So don't delay, help Sarah be feeling better and slaying the looks sooner by subbing today. You heard Flame, give me your fucking money. Thank you for the 22 months reset Flame, I appreciate it, thank you. I hope you're doing well, it's nice to see you. Hello. Oh my god. Uh, this is so, okay, hold on. Wait, no, I gotta bring out the other mount for this one. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god! This is so pretty! Look at the designs! Oh my god, the peacock! Oh! 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 Well, now I just want to learn dancer. Now I just want to learn dancer. Oh my god! Oh, this is so pretty! Look at the hotties! Oh, it's so gorgeous! Are you fucking shitting my ass? I wish I could fly so I could get up there. Oh, too bad it's foggy too. I can't, like, I can't get like a really pretty view. But, oh my. I'm obsessed. I am fucking obsessed. Honestly? Yoshi P? Square Enix? Y'all killed it. Y'all slayed. <laughs> Learn dancer. Come back here, Gpos in nice weather. That's the fucking plan, bro. That is the plan. I mean, I guess I don't really like need to learn dancer. I could just this is my dancer fit. I could just wear this and pose. <laughs> oh, and I blend in. I'm I blend in. I'm wearing the same headpiece and shit. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. All right, let's do this. I'm only now noticing how Pepper is sitting on the peacock. Like, she's sitting, like, on her side. Oh. Oh, this game. This fucking game. Alright, we're peeping. We're keeping watch. Mm-hmm. Oh, cutscene. Is it voice, though? Are we about to get blessed with a voice cutscene? I hope so. Yeah, side saddle! That's it, yeah. Oh, this looks voiced. <gasps> oh! I couldn't- I couldn't get- Ugh! I hope I got that. <laughs> yes, that would be Radzad Han. Hardly anyone has been allowed in or out since our troubles with the tower began. The faithful citizens huddle inside the city walls, and commerce has all but ground to a standstill. I pity the satrap, the trials he must be facing. Got it. Look how fucking beautiful Pepper is. Look at her. I'm gonna fucking nut. She needs better earrings though. Those earrings, I mean, they match the fit, but girl, we could do better. Um, what can you tell me of the sat? Is it pronounced satrap? The satrap? The satrap? 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 
I suddenly miss my grandmother. She sounds almost exactly like her. Satrap? 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 Satrap. 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 Um, uh, wait. Oh, oh, you. The woman that you are, Pepper. The woman who you are. Uh, what can you tell me about the Satrap? Do you trust the Satrap? Um, what can you tell me? <laughs> well, he... He is the most <coughs> important person in Radzadhan. Long ago, this island was home to two tribes of Matanga, the Gajasura and the Arkasodra. When the Aura came to these shores, it was the Arkasodra with whom they joined forces. Together they defeated the war like Gajasura, forcing them to flee Thavnair altogether. Hearing it pronounced Aura? Wow. That was just like music to my ears, like with the accent. I'm sorry, that was beautiful. I've never heard it be pronounced so beautifully. <laughs> oh! Oh, the pronunciations for all of these two? Oh my god, it's like silk. The aura? The. Okay, so they pronounce it the Arca. Ar okay, so Arca. Arca Sodra. Like that, like that A almost seems invisible. So it's not Arca Sodara, it's Arca, Arca Sodra? Arca Sodra? Like that? Like it's very quick, I think. And the Gajasura. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm learning! Peace and prosperity reigned for a time. Until a clan of Hyor from the mainland Disgusting. decided they wanted the island for themselves. Bro, what? Okay, what is with... You know what I love, too, about like a lot of these like fantasy games? Like they did it in Dragon Age, they did it in Skyrim. I love how it's always the human race that is colonizing. <laughs> it's always the humans that are colonizing. And it, I think that's why I don't like playing as a human race because I always associate the humans as, as the white people. <laughs> as the whiteies. <laughs> but you know, like obviously like there's an alliance raid right there. Do you see that? I see it. <laughs> um, <coughs> we're dirty colonizers. They are. The el Oh yeah, no, the elves in Skyrim were absolutely fucking shitty too. I'm not saying they weren't. I'm definitely not saying that. But like, there is definitely a trend of humans being colonizers. And it's kind of funny. It was a direct ancestor of the present Satrap who arbitrated that conflict and welded the warring factions into the nation we know today. Hmm. And ever since, a member of that esteemed lineage has inherited this somewhat unique position. You see, by and large, the state is run by the people. But when problems arise, it is the satrap who mediates a solution. I feel like that's a fair um, The stability government? provided by the satrap is what has allowed Rads at Han to thrive all these years. And it was the Satrap himself who entrusted us with this duty. We will not fail him, nor our countrymen. I'm obsessed. <coughs> what is the delay with the vessel? I told you I need to adjust those ratios. Aren't y'all the ones who kidnapped a stinny? <laughs> How is my boy doing? Is that Fan Daniel? Is that Fan Daniel? Ah! I come <laughs> down this way to admire one of my splendid towers, and what do I find? Fools attempting to ward off its tempering influence with magic trinkets. I seem to recall a similar experiment in ages past. What was that man's name? Oh, something. Oween? Oween? Oh, another, another body, body another time. time. Who could be expected to remember every trivial detail? <laughs> hmm. 
allowing them to construct such handy talismans would be counterproductive to my plans. And yet, I find myself deathly curious. How will they manage this feat? with the limited knowledge and resources at their disposal. <laughs> Complications be damned, for we cannot escape the nature of our souls. And I, as ever, am my own worst enemy. I, okay, has been Daniel a turf girl. <laughs> I, who's beside me? Oh my God. <laughs> I, I still don't know how I'm supposed to feel about Fan Daniel. I mean, like, obviously he's like a, he's like, he, he, you know, he, he feels like he, <laughs> There is something about him and his like dynamic with Xenos that just makes me laugh because it feels like Finn Daniel is cracked on Addy and Xenos needs like new prescribed migraine like medicine. He's just a little guy. Finn Daniel is just a little dude. And I kind of love him. And I feel bad. Like I feel like I shouldn't say that. It's just, it's just, it's just such a funny name to me. I know. I cannot hear it without, like, thinking, Fan! Daniel, it's so bad. King George from Hamilton energy? Oh my god, I saw Hamilton for the first time. Um, like, uh, two months ago, I think? Almost two months ago? And it was actually surprisingly really good. But, like, I could not take it super seriously because it almost felt like... I mean, I hate Lin-Manuel Miranda. That man... That man gives me the ick just just something about him that makes me want to like rip my eyebrows off um but it almost felt like self inserty somehow and the rapping always kind of like caught me off guard but like it's good <gasps> presently here thank you for gifting a sub to fan daniel oh my god fan daniel welcome to the coven of your bedroom most and your star oh my god i am a very big fan Pouting and pants and pockets dot jpeg, bro. Like what? Like what the fuck is that? Like what the fuck is this? Who just takes photos like? Where all my pistols at? Like no, no, that's not sexy. Who told you that was sexy? Who greenlit that? They should be fucking fired. <laughs> Ponzo! Hi, Ponzo! Gangsters, what's up, guys? Thank you for the 100 biddies. Thank you, I appreciate it, Ponzo. Is it because it's AAPI month? Bow. Bow. <gasps> Jace, thank you for the 26 month reset as well. Welcome back to the Count of your badge months and your stay. Don't bite your lip unless you draw blood. Oh my god. I was high as tits fucking yesterday, and I was playing Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time, and I was so enthralled by the gameplay that I was biting my lip and didn't realize it until I looked in the mirror later and I was like, oh, it's very puffy and like, it hurts. <coughs> that game is great. It is pretty good. I played it on, I think like the Wii or something like a very long time ago and this was my first time touching it on the Switch and it's, it's pretty good. All right, let's speak to Nitana. Let's see what she has to say. I have enough spirit weed to last us a good while. Thank you for keeping watch. Let us head back to the great work, shall we? Yeah. Let us go, babes. Let us go. Alrighty. Oh my god. You know what I never want to bring back, but honestly, I might just because... Why not? Remember when I had, like, I had daily sub goals and shit for, like, doing a British accent? <laughs> Do y'all remember that mayhem? Ray, don't judge me. <laughs> You didn't even see the worst of it. 
Yeah, I used to do like a daily a daily sub goal kind of thing, and it's like if we hit it, I would do the British accent. And we did it once for a Skyrim stream. It was like 13 hours, and I did the accent for the whole. Not Kira Knightley! Oh my god, I'll bring back the Kira Knightley, babes. I can't breathe. I, you know what? Because I'm asthmatic, I literally. That. It's me. I can't breathe. You could stop? Nah. You're just a hater. <laughs> You're just a fucking hater. Pepper, my thanks again for your assistance. With your help, we're that little bit closer to completing our talisman. This isn't much. Please accept it as a token of my gratitude. Ooh, wait. Let me swap to Sage so I can get that XP. Oh, what is my fit? Nice. My biggest fear is that like I'm gonna I'm gonna do that one day. Like accept um Good times. In it chat. In it vibes. Yeah, thank you for the 14 month free so I appreciate it, Sean. How are you? Um But oh I forgot what I was fucking saying. Never mind. A boy's errand. Little does it Hannah know that she's about to send you on another errand. Oh good. I'm going on a little boy errand? What does that mean? <laughs> If you'll excuse me, I shall turn to my work on the talisman. Ah, you are both back. Excellent. Hello, Varshan. Oh, it's the little boy! Oh, okay, that makes sense. Am I going somewhere with him? I have a message for you, Mistress Natana. It would seem the stories of Giant Skull are running low. Giant Skull? What was that? Hi, D1! Hello! Hi, Goose! I'm taking your inhaler and putting it on the top shelf. I will fucking bite your ankles, bro. Wait, I'm missing all this. What? But when I last looked, there was still plenty. I suspect that we're that was before Uriange told everyone about their temper and curious scene and shared his knowledge of dragons. Your peers have since been inspired to fashion a number of new talisman prototypes. I see. Well, if it leads to new possibilities, then far be it for me to complain. But we will need to replenish our stores. I should be happy to tend to this if you like. As much as I appreciate the offer, my dear boy, I can't in good conscience send you out there alone while kidnappers are at large. Pepper, lo though I am to press another task on you so soon, might I ask you to fetch the giant skull? In case you're not familiar, a giant skull is a type of ore found on the island. Owing to its hardness and ethereal conductivity, it has applications in many disciplines, alchemy not least of all. The quarry where it is found aptly named giant skull grounds isn't far away, so it shouldn't take much of your time. May we impose, impose on you s Whoa, may we impose on you once more? Yeah, I got you babes. Thank you. Upon arriving at the grounds, please seek out a man named Zenua. Zenua? Zenua. He will he will furnish you with the ore. At the very least, permit me to accompany you. It so happens I have an errand of my own that will take me to the outpost nearby. I hate it when they make kids not sound like kids. Maybe borrow a pair of Hamza, Mistress Natana. By all means, do try to be patient with them. Those that survived are still in training. I will bring the Hamsa to the entrance. Meet me there when you are ready. The Hamsa? What is the Hamsa? What's that? I'm kind of excited. <clears throat> Lloyd Payne, try wearing a corset. That is an iconic line. Like, let's be let's be real. Pirates of the Caribbean, like, had some fucking banging one-liners. I really want to rewatch that series. I do about like a like an annual Pirates of the Caribbean or the Caribbean rather uh, rewatch like every year. Daron Air, thank you for the raid. Hello, hello. Hi friends. My name is Syra. I'm a Final Fantasy 14 streamer. Welcome to the welcome to the stream. I hope you had a great stream. You're awesome too. Hi. You're awesome. Here are Hamsa Oh. If the creatures look familiar, it's because they are close to close kin to your Eorzean dodos. Aha! Uh -huh. Hamsa have long been kept as livestock in Thafnir, and many a hatchery may be found here. Alas, the largest of these were recently raised by monsters from the tower. On account of said hatchery being situated near the tower, the radiant host repurposed its remnants as an outpost. That is where my errand takes me, and your own destination is but a stone's throw away. If you have no objections, let us first make for the outpost. We set forth at your word. <laughs> 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 
They're so fucking goofy looking. Redrick, thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate it. I'd love to do a whole series rewatch. Hell yeah, let's fucking do it at least. You are ready? Then let us depart. Just finished my last set of reclears for the Savage tier and decided to send my community over to one of my favorite streamers less than three. Hope MSQ is going well. I am one of your favorite streamers. I am honored, Jer. I hope your reclears were super good. I hope that they went super well and weren't stressful at all. Thank you for sending your community over to me. I appreciate you calling me your favorite streamer. Make me blush. Me? I'm the favorite? Stop. MSQ is going well. We are taking our very, very, very sweet time with Endwalker, unfortunately. Um, I've been very sick, so it's been very difficult to find the strength to go live and play. But we will. I'm, do I'm doing what I can. I'll do what I can. You are ready? Then let us depart. You need only ride and relax. My bird and I will take the lead for yours to follow. Okay. Mount the hamster and travel to the outpost. Oh. <laughs> Let us be off. If you haven't heard of Dodos before, be warned that they have a wobbling gait. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I hate this. This is, this is hilarious. I look so dumb. That spectacular formation. Stretching out over... Wait, hold on. Wait. Let me read these. Uh, that is where my errand takes me and your own destination is but a stone throw away. If you have no objections, let's make... F oh, yeah, yeah. You are ready? Then let us depart. Oh, wait. No, they're not popping up in the thing. To the left and requiring no introductions to the tower. As you can see, his straddle is a small aisle. God. I would love to be the small aisle that the tower straddles or... I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't think of a good joke. I'm sorry, chat. Bear with me. Almost there. The main part of the hatchery is atop the cliff. The outpost itself is on the beach. Tend to snow. I know. The pussy is getting aired out, bro. Like, what is this? Pepper, there is no way you are comfortable right now. Why would you fucking agree to this, girl? You have a magic carpet. You have... Your own chocobo. You have a polar bear. You could. You have a fucking bed for fuck's sake, bro. You could travel on anything you want, but this is all right. Wait, these ones are cute. Wait, are they the same ones? Oh, they are. They're just hideous from the front. <laughs> oh, I like the feather in this guy's hair. He's stylish. Oh, he gone. And here we are, manned by the radiant host. This outpost is our first line of defense against the tower. I wonder how early they're gonna make me go fuck up that shit. Like, I wanna say, like, the level 82 quest or something, right? Oh, are they dragoons? Well, well, who should it be but young Varshan on an errand for... something. I am. His excellency bade me come to collect your report. He also wished to express his heartfelt gratitude to the brave men and women of the Radiant Host for their unflagging dedication. We simply do our duty, but we are honored to receive His Excellency's regard. Nabdeen, is this one of the ones when I was selling fish? Was this one of the the aura when I was like selling fish or something? Or is this the one who was like in the tent? No, do they all just fucking look the same? And yet, for his boundless benevolence, his treatment for of one so young could be regard regarded as callous. Though we have enjoyed relative peace and calm these past few days, this remains the front line of battle. No place for children. Because, like, every single one that I've seen in the MSQ so far has been red with white hair and, like, the, the, like, the white, like, aura or aura, like, horns i swear to god this is the one not the one that was in the tent that was ignoring us but this was the one i tried selling fish to i swear to god but to be honest that whole fish quest line was a fucking blur he's never been on the docks damn god i gotta do better 
This is like when I first started playing a Realm Reborn and I got all the white guys confused because they were all the same. <laughs> They're worried about the little bro that's adorable, as they should be. Your predecessor too often traveled alone. It's been, what, two years now since you took over? I wonder how the fellow is faring. Like those before him, he went on to represent the satrap in foreign lands. Wherever he may be now, I am certain he is well. As for myself, I assure you that all I do, I do of my own volition, and gladly. I pray you do not think ill of his excellency. Bro, there is no child on this planet that speaks like this. Certainly not, lad. Whatever happens, my faith is in the satrap. My faith in, my faith in the satrap is unwavering. But still, I worry for you. We would be overcome with sadness if something were to befall, for you, befall you. For you are as a little brother to us all. Take care, do you hear? Nah, this kid's gonna die. This kid's gonna fucking die. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. This game does a lot of foreshadowing. And they're usually very obvious. My cousins didn't tell my dad that all white people look the same, so you're valid for that. They do. I will, Nemdeen. Thank you. And who might this be? Not Hanish by the look of her, or Hanish. <coughs> Permit me to introduce Peppermint of the Eorzean contingent, come to assist in the making of the talisman. From Eorzea, you say? Towers have appeared over there too, yes? Tell me, what is the situation like? May I suggest that you exchange information with our soldiers? Both parties would stand to learn something of value, I believe. An excellent idea. Given the unprecedented nature of the threat, some of ours are understandably anxious. We would be glad for any tidings you can share. You too. Oh, you too. Bring Varshan the latest report and answer any questions he may have. So two Lancers and a Paladin? Is that what the other one is? It's true. All us white people actually just pretend we can tell each other apart. That's a whole gimmick, huh? Ooh. Okay, so there are three people here that I gotta speak to. So let's speak with Nabdeen. It occurs to me I've yet to properly introduce our company. We are the Radiant Host, a military order under the Satrap's command. Ooh, the Radiant. Oh, so this is the Radiant Host. Okay. Our duty is to preserve peace in the land, be it patrolling the streets or dealing with heretofore unknown threats such as now. We train hard and admit only capable warriors to our ranks. Ooh, excuse me. Even so, we've struggled to contend with the fiends from the tower. Though we succeeded in striking them down on the two occasions they came in force, we had to pay a heavy price. What are the towers in Eorzea? Do they likewise spawn monsters? So it's, much so it's much the same everywhere. With every nation struggling, we cannot expect calls for outside aid to be answered. Why do I feel like these towers are going to fuck up Eorzea? Like, I... <laughs> I am, like, suspecting some form of chaos, some fucking, like, Elon Musk shit, where Eorzea is gonna get, we're gonna get our, like, our cheeks clapped and have to go to the moon. Is that why we have to go to the moon? Like, I'm assuming that I'm gonna have to go to the moon. <laughs> is that why? <gasps> Do we have to repopulate on the, on the moon? Eorzea and Musk. <laughs> Love the streams. Zany, thank you for the 18 month resub. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hold on, let me mute my alerts real quick. We wish to know about the tower. To be honest, we know little and less about it ourselves. Hold on, this is my game. There we go. This tower of Zot, as folk have been calling, have been taken to, have taken to calling it, suddenly appeared where it did on the Isle of Naruner. Naruner. Narinair. We're safe from its influence at this distance, but go too far into the water and you'll expose yourself to its corrupting either. You're a foreigner, aren't you? Okay. Kind of racist. How are they dealing with the tower in your homeland? Our struggles are not unique. Then our hopes to lie with the talismans. We must keep the monsters contained until they are ready. Alrighty. And this one... The talisman, that's the, the lamp that Nidhana was her name? Uh used on me, right? Yeah. 
I think I think that's what that was. I don't know. I I I could be wrong. But she used that to like test my ether, right? And they're using dragon skills for it? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I've heard about you. The visitor from Eorzea. Is there anything you can tell us about the Telophoroi? We know that they're the ones behind the tower and that they've declared war on the whole world. But why are they doing this? What is it that they want? This we don't understand. What? They want to die? And take everyone with them? What madness is this? Well, you can bet that we won't let those bastards have their way. We'll fight them with everything we have, like our Eorzean and Far Eastern brothers. Yeah. Alright. Let's go speak with Varshan. Yeah, we're gonna stop the genocide. I don't know how successful we're gonna be, but we're gonna stop it. Better speaking with the soldiers, have you? I hope it was an enlightening... It was as enlightening for you as it was for them. As a neutral nation and trading hub both, Radzahan ordinarily receives a steady stream of news from abroad. Alas, the stream dried up when trading vessels stopped coming. Just like mine. What the fuck was that? Yeah. <laughs> I missed the dearth. The the dearth. The dearth of information. Everyone will have been grateful for your accounts. But come, you had best. You had best see to your original errand. Oh my god. <laughs> English. As mine will keep me here a while longer. However, I'm afraid I cannot guide you the rest of the way. Are you not? The path is straightforward. You need to follow the road east upon the Hamsa. Oh, the road east upon the Hamsa, you'll right before you do it. Brief though it was, I enjoyed our time together. Till we meet again. Alright, bro. I don't know how to tell you this, but I don't want- Oh, I have to mount it. I don't have a choice, do I? Though the Hamsa appears to want to return home, it reluctantly offers you its back. Should you become separate from your steed, speak with the Radiant Beast Keeper at the Hamsa Hatchery to mount it again. Man. I like, I actually dead ass have to ride this thing? Why? I have mounts, bro! Alrighty. Um. The little man said it was straightforward. Like, up here? Oh my god. Femro Supremacy? Absolutely. Oh, uh, not even just Femro Supremacy, you redheaded Femro Supremacy? Ooh, look at us. Ooh! Ooh! Have a little dance off. Neither you nor this dodo want to be there. And you know what? For that alone, I have a little bit more respect for it. <laughs> I hate this. I mean, we ball. Femro, I miss Core so much. Me too. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Wait, 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 wait. I want to go there. Oh, hey. Oh, that's the uh, the Moogle Tome um, mount, right? <coughs> I love it. Okay, wait. Can I unlock this area real quick? I don't know how big this is going to be. Look at that little speck. That's where I have to go? Oh, so I am going the right direction. Oh, perfect! Perfect! Oh, I'm so excited. Wait, let me get this too real quick. Wait, I get experience for this. Let me swap. Come on, Sage. Get that XP, baby. Yeah, there you go. Wait. Where'd the- Oh, the elephant's down that way. Okay, we're close, though. Oh my god, it's so fucking- This is giving jump puzzle vibes? Is this a jump puzzle? <laughs> Alright, so why do I have to go in here? Is this where I'm gonna dismount? Oh yeah. No sooner do you arrive at your destination than the Hamso dashes off. Oh, it's a wild mosque! It's a wild mosque! What you counting, bestie? What you counting? You taking notes of the inventory? Yeah? Oh, I get a kiss. I get a kiss. Wait, wait. I give a <laughs> hug. I give a hug. And now I give a kiss. I like your glowing jewelry. God damn. Cute shit. Alright. Hi, this is indeed the Giant Skull Grounds, and I am Zenua. Zenua? Zenua? Is there something you require? <laughs> Giant Skull for the Alchemist, you say? But of course they shall have it. They labor tirelessly to deal with the tower, and tis the least we can do to provide them with the materials they need. Nice. Alright, let me swap the sage real quick and get that XP. 
Bro, I could literally be level 90 right fucking now on my Sage. I wish, I wish I just like have been doing my dailies. My Sage will be level 90. My Gunbreaker will finally be level 80. But whatever, we will. Oh wait, I could play Triple Triad here. Mmm. 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 You got the Sonic hair. Okay, so I can only get one card from them. Let's see if I can get it on the first go. <laughs> Am I getting my ass handed to me? Same. My card is played if two more of the slides are touching each other. Okay, let's go. Okay. 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 Oh. I'm going to leave you there for now. I'm going to fill up this corner real quick. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Uh huh. Oh, I should have put Estinian down there. Mm. I really should have put Estinian down there, huh? Ooh, I kind of fucked my own ass. Ooh. Oh, but I won! But I won though, and I, I didn't, I didn't get the the card though. Okay, let me let me try one more time. This guy's not that hard. Let's see if I can get it this time. I doubt it, but... I'm pretty surprised how fun Sage is to be. Sage is a lot of fun. I already forgot how to play, unfortunately. <laughs> I feel like that's like my... Oh... Mm, I don't know where I'm going to be able to use Astinian. Oof. I'm going to pop this guy here. He's going to get taken, but that's fine. Oh, he didn't get taken, but I can't take that back. So we're gonna pop a stadium over here. Yeah, I already forgot. Fuck. I already forgot how to play um, Sage, and it's so embarrassing to admit that. I got the card! Let's go! Anytime I don't play a class for like at least a week, I forget them. <laughs> I forget how to play them like immediately. It's the same thing with Dark Knight. Dark Knight I, I pick up a lot faster because um, it is my main and I've been playing it for like a year, but man. <clears throat> Sage's great. It's a very active healer. It's good for teaching newer healers to keep up their damage because it rewards you with more healing. True. Astrologian was the first healing class that I learned and I loved it so much. Um. But I haven't touched it since I reached 90 with it, and I completely forgot how to play. I don't even remember, like, what cards go for who. I really hope I can relearn Astro. That one is very fun. I don't know what, like, canon healing class would, like, suit Pepper. I feel like Sage and Astro fit my vibe. Maybe Pepper's vibe. So Pepper's main class is Dark Knight, Dr well, She's also, she, she mains a lot, but Dark Knight, Dragoon, and Astrologian, I picked those all up, um, or Astrologian, whatever, I picked those all up during, or like, after Heaven's Ward, and so maybe, like, that's, like, the headcanon, because, like, I, I like the idea that, you know, after Heaven's Ward, Pepper stayed in Ishgard, and she lived with the Four Toms for a while, and she helped Emmerich with, um, with like politics and stuff and she was just like taking care of Ishgard with everybody basically um and that's when she started to like really learn Dark Knight that's when she you know picked up Dragoon that's when she picked up Astrologian so you know she just has her like little Ishgard like set you should give Pepper a gun, Machinist Pep. She deserves a flamethrower. Actually, you're right. I do want to learn Machinist. I feel like it wouldn't suit Pepper. But you know what? If she ever gets to fight Emmett Selk again... Okay, hold on. Do not tell me anything, chat. Obviously. But oh my god, am I going to see Emmett Selk again? Because he's narrating Endwalker. <laughs> like, what the fuck, bro? I like I sat here like yo I killed I killed my man but if he's coming back there might be hope there might be hope for Pepper and her fucking kiss of death. <laughs> All right, let's see what he has to say. Here you are, a sack of the purest giant skull. Oh, he's giving it to me. I thought he was calling me a sack. <laughs> we always set some aside for our alchemist friends. Cool, thank you. <coughs> 
Redeliver it. Let the good folk of the great work know that we're grateful for their efforts. If they need more, they need but ask. Sick. Can I TP or are they gonna make me take my little friend? No, I can TP, thank god. Thank god. I'm learning machinist before going to Stormblood and it's actually fun as fuck. Oh, so you haven't like fully started Stormblood yet, huh? I think that's like the one expansion I'm not looking forward to to playing with red. But you know what? It might be nice. Because as we play through Heaven's Word on like hot chocolate and um marshmallow, I'll be able to pick up some new lore for Pepper. And I guess like he could do the same for for red during Stormblood. That could be nice. I love choosing main classes based on your Warrior of Light story. I kind of picked Warrior for Tristan because of Roban. Okay, so I saw that Roban or Raubon is like the, the Final Fantasy character that you would die for. What is the lore there? What is the T? Did they like trade with Raubon? I'm a slut for a good archer, so Sybil just defaulted to Bard. You know what? As she should. <coughs> I, I mean, I love playing tank classes, and I love, like, anything that's, like, relatively edgy. So, I mean, Dark Knight was too perfect. And then doing the level 70 questline for Dark Knight really solidified. Or, like, level 60 and level 70, like, um, questlines really solidified my choice. Um, because not only did it become something that, like, resonated with Pepper and and was something that I enjoyed playing, it then resonated with me and it brought me a lot of comfort and helped me heal, you know? So, yeah. I refuse to, to let Pepper be anything, but. There's some tension, I'm listening. I want all the TL, when's the fanfic coming out? <laughs> Simping is absolutely caretaker, so healing came naturally to him. Ooh, I like that. He likes to look after people, so of course he's going to want to mend their wounds as well. Ramen, hello! It's nice to see you! Welcome back! Not much. Feeling kind of sick. Getting through some... Some Endwalker while I can. How are you? It's nice to see you. Welcome back, Pepper. Dare I hope you have the giant skull? I do! Here you go, babes. Oh my, such fine specimens. Thank you so much for bringing these. We now have everything we need to make our next prototype. One that should be capable of passing our most rigorous tests. When it is ready, it will be time for the true test. So please take your ease while you can. <gasps> Cutscene? Oh, the music is so pretty. I really thought that was about to be tomorrow and tomorrow. I was like, nah, I cannot. God, look at her titties. Okay, Pepper. Is this person chasing me? <sighs> Is she gonna go rest by the water? You gonna enjoy the view? I'm enjoying the view, if you know what I mean. I see our taskmasters have allowed you a moment's respite as well. Hi, Thancred. What's up, Thancredsy? How you doing? Oh, Asinian's back with his Gucci hairband. You have to hand it to these alchemists. They are determined to see this endeavor of theirs succeed. I've never been one for blind optimism, but I sincerely get the sense they're close to a breakthrough. The quality of these cutscenes. It just, it's gone up tremendously. Be. <laughs> All this effort was for naught. Oh, come on, Grouchy. The peoples of Eorzea, of the Far East, of Tavner, children of this star united in common cause against a dire threat. Yet ere they succumbed to <laughs> suicidal madness, were not the Telophoroi born of her body as were we? They who cling to life and the promise of the morrow's dawn against they who desire death and an ending of their own orchestration. The victors Poetic of this almost. war alone will hold the right to answer the question of existence, of its meaning. 
and its worth. Poetic and fuck. ominous to a fault. Th that is that what I just it's said? It's an existential debate in nature, Same and our brain. arguments might not be as persuasive as you'd think. Van Daniel wants to die and take everyone with him in an orgy of pain and suffering. An utterly vile and unforgivable idea. Never, never in my life did I think I would hear Thancred say orgy. <laughs> and that just caught me off guard completely. Hey man, if Van Daniel wants an orgy, he can have his orgy, okay? <laughs> and yet, when spat upon by fate and wailing in the deepest pit of despair, who among us can say they have not entertained similar thoughts? There are nights black as pitch, bereft of hope, and no words of comfort can reach you. And it's all you can do to grit your teeth and choke back the bile. The more you see and suffer life's injustices, the more difficult they become to bear. Vengeance is nurtured in similar soil. Though your anger has a broader focus, the sentiment is much the same. A fervent desire to destroy others, to see them drown in torment, as you have. That about sums it up. The will to endure is not always as strong as the urge to burn it all down and salt the earth. Survival be damned. It's a struggle, often close and brutal. Indeed. Well, I, for one, the shall pray survival proveth more appealing this? in the end. As will I. Besides, our chances are much improved when we've the company of others committed to the cause of life. Our vengeful dragoon here is proof of that. <laughs> Spotted! Go get him! Go get him! G guys, go with her! Thank you! Fandano just fucking creeping on us! What the hell? He's ruining it? my moment! What did you see? He wants the origin, he wants it now. And Daniel, are you sure? If he knows we've been working on a countermeasure. He absolutely knows. It holds. The vessel holds. Oh shit. This is the one. Oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, the plot is thickening. At long last. Like Emmerich's ass, the plot thickens. Oh my god. Ooh! <laughs> no, not this music! Not the sad ass fucking music, bro! <coughs> Look! We have finally created a talisman strong enough to withstand our experiments! We've named it oh, a it's beautiful. scale for the time being. With this in your possession, your soul should be completely shielded from corruptive ether. Oh, sick! Contemplating. Afforded such protection, any one of us may approach the towers without fear. Thou hast mine admiration. Tis an invention of historical significance. <coughs> I thank you for your kind words. But I would prefer you keep them unsaid until we test the talisman's efficacy in the field. She is so it is humble. for the next stage of our plan that we summoned you in the first place. To accompany me to the Tower of Zot. Zot, okay. Should the scale prove effective, as I very much hope it will, then you'll have little to do. But should the effect be weaker than anticipated, I must ask that you restrain me or knock me senseless. Girl. <laughs> Girl. I wish someone would do that to me. Wait, let me take a quick, a quick, a quick little screen cap because, oh my god, I'm gonna be taking so many of these. Pepper is so fucking cute. <gasps> Time for the event for three months reset. I appreciate it. Welcome back to the coven. You're almost at two years. Hope you enjoy Badger Months and your stay. Yeah, almost two months. We love to see it. All right. What will you say? Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Oh, you need an ask. Oh, you need an ask. Either way, we are fortunate to have you with us. Nidana, I... 
Are you certain you wish to do this? <coughs> if others are to trust our creations, then we must have faith in them first. And as the senior researcher, it falls to me to lead by example. Something bad is gonna happen. But should I fail to return? Then learn what you can from this attempt and apply it to the next. Girl, you better not be Our foreshadowing in your continue. death. I love you. Is that clear? That that one elephant who was simping for you that told me all about you, he's we'll gonna be heartbroken and I can't deal with that. Assuming Fan Daniel is lurking about, there's no telling what mischief he has in mind for us <laughs> or you. Who the be fuck says guard. mischief as mischief? Shall we be on our way? I'll have one of the soldiers at the hatchery prepare us a boat, and we can set out from the northern shore. I'll see you there. If that's foreshadowing, this game is so damn mean foreshadowing. Yeah, that's how this game always is. Like, this game is, like, really predictable. But I've gotten so comfortable with how predictable it is that I'm always assuming they're foreshadowing stuff now. <laughs> and I feel like that's part of the problem. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'm gonna go this way because I want to unlock what's over there. And I'm gonna swap to Sage to do it as well. Hello, Witcher Pride! No. Oh. Not the first time someone has asked Pepper to knock them unconscious, and it won't be the last. Oh, Orange Man's foreshadowing fuck me up, man. I know. I'm genuinely not looking forward to. I mean, I am looking forward to playing Heaven's Word again. I loved Heaven's Word, but I don't know if I'm ready to go through that heartache again. I mean, at least this time, like, I'll know it's coming. <laughs> you know, so I like I am prepared for it in that sense. But just thinking about Orshifan sometimes makes me cry. <laughs> He's such a good boy. I know, I will literally still ball. Y'all better be ready, cause I'm streaming that shit. <laughs> oh. No more yay, we saved the day gang. Oh my god, I was so innocent. I was literally, I was so pure. We saved the day! We did it! And then when the cutscene came up, I was like, I was silent. I was speechless. I didn't know what to do. Like, oh man. What an era. What a time that was. This is a rather finer boat than I had expected, but I won't complain. All that remains is to board and be on our way. Oh, and if I should become corrupted, do not stay your hand. Of course I pray it does not come to that, but you must protect yourself. Other alchemists can fulfill my role, but you and your blessings are one of a kind, and perhaps our only hope for toppling this tower. For all our sakes, do not hesitate to do what must be done, whatever that may be. Well, the longer I draw this out, the more nervous I become. Let's be off. I am going! <laughs> the Tower of Zot? Okay. Oh, it's actually really pretty and it resembles Fan Daniel's like his robe really well too. We should soon cross the threshold of the tower's influence. Bow, bow, bow. Oh. Any moment now. Oh. She's got her little shield. It's working. And you, you are still yourself? Yeah. Then I'd like to see how it fares closer to the tower if we could. Oh, my fucking claymore is still on. <laughs> like, does this not literally look like Fan Daniel's hood? I mean, like, I know, like, these are, like, his towers and shit, but, like, bro. Okay, it glowed. Is it so oh, far so good? The scales protection oh, appears okay. to be holding. If we can just make it to the tower's entrance. Oh. 
Chad, I'm so nervous. Pepper is smiling too much. She's looking away. What's she gonna see? Oh my god. Oh. A few more steps. Oh, I don't know, girl. I don't think. Oh, I don't know. I think you should back up. Okay, you, you, we made it. Oh, don't turn around <laughs> like that. Praise be to the sisters, we made it. Uh huh. And the scale has proven itself to be everything we hoped it would be. Okay, but you haven't now gone we in can yet. Focus on production. Once we've equipped and returned with an entire survey team, this menace will soon give up its secrets. Or you could just send me in there. <coughs> what? <gasps> No, 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 ah! ah! They just fucking zooped her like that. Chains and whips are not exciting Pepper today. Bro, this is what it looks like inside? Oh, is this music? Wait, this is reminding me of Prometheus a little bit. This is kind of sick. Oh, oh, there she is. And Phantom, you! Oh, he's gonna put her in there. No, please don't. Please, please. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, do calm down. You'll only hurt yourself thrashing about like that. Stop! Oh, you can't do this! Please! It's me. It's Peeper. Peeper's coming. No, 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 no. <gasps> oh! No. A little late for heroics, I'm afraid. Hmm. The similarities are striking. What similarities? My, my! Such hostility! Never before has my artistry so displeased. I want to bite his fucking ankles. My <coughs> patrons of old would have positively squealed in delight. Though, between you and me, I find gushing praise exhausting. Really? You find gushing praise exhausting? Patrons of old? What are you talking about? Yeah, pa patrons of old? Ooh, Allow it didn't even land the on the like thing Surely that went. you've yet to hear the one about Van Daniel, the sundered Asian. There we I go. I inherited the position and the soul of the Van Daniel who sat on the convocation in the time of the final days, theoretically speaking. Practically speaking, that fact is of no consequence. I was born and lived as, well, me. And your mama couldn't pick a better name? She went Fan Daniel? Eventually, I was recruited into the Asians and imbued with the former Fan Daniel's knowledge and memories. But <coughs> I never felt that they were truly a part of who I am. Can I just kick this gay theater kid? <laughs> How to explain? Off the ledge. Uh, perhaps if From I told you who I was another, before my Asian embrace, although that chapter too is shut a past up. I've long since discarded. I have it on good authority. You've poked your nose into an elegant ruin or two. Yes. I mean. Then I expect you've heard of me. The old. Oh, 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 oh. Um, she's um, at, at your, your service. service. Ooh! Now wait 
a fucking second! From the Crystal Towers? Imagine a nation. Von Bride. Phantom of the Night. Opera Boy! You are a fucking theater kid. Every need met. Day after day of unbroken, unshakable peace. Existence. Fulfilled. And ripe. For decay. Ooh, why did that do something to me? <laughs> Oh, never mind. You are a genius oh. without peer, Amon. <laughs> However do you conceive of such delightful experiments? That fool was beside himself with panic when he awoke with the head of a bull. <laughs> Even his cries for help emerged as so much guttural lowing. This is the Crystal Towers. Oh, oh, oh the memory of it. <laughs> I think. This My is an Asus my friends and I were so consumed by laughter that we struggled to breathe. No more than entertainment for bored wastrels ignorant of its worth. My all-consuming work. But it was not their only indulgence. For they were ever hungry for stimulation. Slaves to the slightest hint that amusement was afoot. Our nation was ailing, but I would see the poison purged. I resurrected a legend, our first and greatest emperor. I'm gonna have to, like, stock up on And just more. as I had planned, <coughs> he set our wayward empire. Back on the path of conquest. An inexhaustible ambition carried us onwards. Always onwards. Yet, he who delivered to us such glory... Look at those arms! ...was not to be satisfied. Heed me, Armon. No matter how vast... This is the guy that sits empire. on the throne, right? Or you fuck him up, and then he goes on the throne, vault. and then he comes back out. All is rendered meaningless by death. In the end, all is lost. Hmm. You know as well as I that the Emperor stands to lose this war. And so I have come to claim you. For while your methods leave something to be desired, we cannot deny the results of your work. I'm a suck, I'm a suck, I'm a suck. <laughs> and as fortune would have it, the seat of Van Daniel, your rightful seat, lies vacant and waiting. Take your place amongst your peers, rather than die a pointless death amidst the ashes of your doomed nation. Hmm. So Emmett came to beckon him back? Send one of your clones <coughs> to the Crystal Tower that you might see for yourself. See what lies ahead. So leave a clone there so he can go back to the seat? Wait, what? Is that what he means? But And then I came and fucked shit up. The fall of the Empire affirmed the truth. Majestic and tragic. As the Emperor foresaw. Scheme as you like, build as you will, nothing endures. What is life but a brief jaunt ending in emptiness? That was deep. Nah, that line was raw. What the fuck? Oh, he's gone. And so was the... The, uh... The thing that they were making. I already forgot what it was called. Oh, and she's still in there, isn't she? So oh, Jesus Christ! I almost, I almost left, left without, without saying, saying farewell. farewell! As for, As for your, your friend, friend, you need, you need worry. worry. 
These pawns are far more useful to me alive as fuel okay. for the crime. So they're all alive? Dude, this this fucking track was hard. Oh, if you attempt to pull them free, they will die. So enjoy tackling that conundrum with your comrades. So what are we supposed to do? There we has to be a loophole. Not in, not in these mine, mine spires. spires. Oh, no, no, no. But, but somewhere, somewhere more suitably grandiose. grandiose. Your, Your favorite, favorite playmate, playmate is ever so eager to see. Look, Pepper's playpen is about to expand. She's got a new playmate. <laughs> Nah, I gotta do it for my girl. I knew it. I fucking knew they would take her. I knew it. Man, it was too good to be true with the foreboding music. So in that cutscene, that voice that I was hearing, that's the actual Fan Daniel's voice, right? Because the voice that I'm hearing for Fan Daniel is um, uh, Asahi's voice, right? Strawberry milk. I'm asking for some strawberry milk with that one. Hi, man, thank you for the 18 month resub. Thank you. <coughs> Damn. Yeah, okay. That's. I, I like the little transition because, like, both of the voice actors, they kind of sound the same. It genuinely feels like one of them is more, like, you know, melancholy. Oh, yeah, I guess a little bit more melancholy. But then the other one is, like, upping the theatrical gay, like, aspect to it. Sometimes they even layer both voices. Ooh. Yeah, that's really fucking cool. I really like that. I really, really liked it. Okay, so after that cutscene, um, let me see. So I think this is gonna be a good stopping point. Ah, you are returned, but where's Mistress Nidhana? Manusaya, I don't know how to pronounce that. Preserve. Just when we had succeeded in making the talisman. That was the word I was looking for. I must report this at once. Meanwhile, please return to the great work. All right. Okay. And so, speak with Thancred to turn in the quest. Okay, I will go to the great work and then... Yeah. I think we'll turn in the quest, get that cutscene or whatever, and we're gonna call it. All right, let's go. <gasps> apple! I see an apple. Can I blow you a kiss from over here? <gasps> Can I? Is it gonna reach? <laughs> oh my god, are you you're dressed like Snow White kinda? It's giving it's giving Snow White. Oh, well now that you're closer, it's not. But you look so cute! Alright, okay, so where's Thancred? Oh there he is. Brooding. Something's gone awry, hasn't it? What happened? So it's been Daniel after all. Damn that bastard. I'm sure you want to do more, but you were right to return here first. We must tread warily lest we endanger Nidhana and the other captives. Okay, let me... Let me swap. Let me just get that XP real quick. <coughs> beep, beep, boop, beep, boop. Nice. Oh, a Thancred has a quest for me? Question mark? The Satrap of Razadhan. Thancred's wearing a grim expression. Alright, so we're gonna continue this, I think late on Wednesday this is the last one on the quest line is it wait how wait okay wait how short is this one or is this gonna be long too because I guess like I may as well finish the quest line then you can't remember damn it Kelsey <coughs> the voice acting in Endwalker is so quality I love it yeah there is already like a dramatic difference between what I was hearing in let alone like like fucking you know shadowbringers like stormblood you know it's shortish royalty hello thank you for the 62 month resub i appreciate it 20 to 30 minutes is voiced also <coughs> oh my god seeing you made me joke on my spit i saw your name i got so excited oh my god Mm. 20 and 30 minutes. Mm. Okay. I could do it. I'll do it. 
And if there's voice cutscenes, that's even fucking better. All right, last quest, chat. Last quest. Let's wrap it up. First, you must affirm everyone on the situation, and Hana's colleagues included. I'll call them together for a gathering, but I think it would be best if you were there, if you were the one to explain. <coughs> got it, babes. I got it. Oh, I forgot to change my gear! Eh, whatever. Oh, Nidhana. <laughs> can, can you answer me this? Though Nidhana is trapped in the tower, she's still alive, yes? Mm. <coughs> then... Then we must keep... Then we must make warding scales, as many as we can. Okay! Hold on, but the chocobo in the back? It's the same one that Orshifon gave me! Look! That's my boy! Pain. All I know is pain. The prototype works perfectly. This Nathana proved at peril to herself. So let's make more scales. That she and all those who were taken might be saved. <coughs> I, as alchemist, this is how we will help win the fight. Hi, Varshan. My friends, the Satrap has been made aware of the tragedy. He offers his heartfelt, his heartfelt condolences and reiterates his pledge to provide you with all that you require. To that end, he bade me give you this link pearl that he might personally discuss the production of the warding scales with you. And for our Eorzean visitors, I bear an invitation. In her report, Mrs. Satana noted your vital contributions to the talisman's creation. This fact came to Satrap's attention, and in recognition of your deeds, he wishes to meet you. One second, chat. He wants to meet me? Wait, the Satrap wants to meet me? Like, not you? Like, the actual leader? In addition to thank you in person, he would also discuss v further avenues of collaboration. And so, if it is agreeable, will you not accompany me to Razadhan for an audience with His Excellency? I mean, who are we to fucking say no? We should be honored, of course. Closer cooperation between our lands can only be to benefit... To be... To, can only be to the benefit of all. Then it is settled. Please come to the gates at the east of Giant Skull grounds, and I will show you into the city. Alright, hopefully this isn't too 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 long. Compared to previous events and work as the most voice scenes, I remember chat telling me that a very long time ago. <gasps> Yo, homie's got the fucking Ardbert gear. Oh, he's in a cutscene. Oh! His FC is called Thick. Oh, they're all- We got some thick boys here. They're all part of Thick. They're all in a cutscene. All right, goddamn. Yeah, I remember, um... I remember chat telling me that Enwalker was- Had a lot of... Voiceovers, which makes me very happy because we all know I can't read. Um... No, I haven't attuned to that. So I do just have to navigate my way. Having someone read Questlands is the best lo-fi. Lo-fi, best lo-fi. See, I would love to have someone read the voice lines for me. But as a streamer, going through this for the first time, I think it's better if I just do it myself. Boy band FC. Shadowbringers is a huge jump in quality over Strumba, and Enwalker is another big jump. If I remember correctly, they have a huge amount more voice dialogue in Enwalker. Yeah. I am very excited to see what this game is going to look like in 7.0 because they're doing a whole like retexture and everything like the game's graphics are going to skyrocket. I'm wondering if it'll have the same charm. <coughs> Ooh, this battle music because like I've gotten so accustomed to the way that it looks now. Oh wait, I'm in combat. Let me kill this so I can swap to Sage. Oh, I'm no longer in combat. Okay, never mind. Just get that itty bitty bit of XP. Once I jump off here. What? I, oh, I, oh, I can't. Oh, I got so excited. Fuck. All right. Uh, let's see. I, can I jump off anywhere here? 
Nah, this game is actually not gonna let me do that. God damn it. I'm so excited for the graphics overall and to see how things look and how our characters look. That's what I'm scared of. Like, is Pepper not gonna be cute anymore? You know? I got priorities here. Okay, where do I fucking... Wait, am I not supposed to go this way? Am I supposed to just go all the way at the top? And Oh, I am. Oh, because it's a whole... It's a whole thing. Oh my god. Uh, you're making me run around, bro. <laughs> In no world is it possible for Pepper to stop being cute. <laughs> Every possible... Look, I'm sure she's still gonna be cute, but like, what if she's not as cute? Because like, look at my baby binky boy. B baby binky boy? That's what I call Waldo. She's not a baby binky boy. This is baby stinky girl. All the pet names that I give Waldo, like, come out all the time. Like, I call my friends what I call Waldo. I call Pepper what I call Waldo. I just talk to Waldo like he's a little, he's a little fella nonstop. It's part of my vocab. I just finally finished Endwalker. Ah, oh, congrats, Anna! Congrats! I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere near the end of Endwalker until, like, man, I don't know, end of June? Imagine I finish Endwalker for my birthday. That'd be kind of tight. I started in August last year, so it took me a while. You started the game or you started Endwalker last year? Because, wait, no. Endwalker, you know, it did come out in 2011. 2021, sorry. So that actually works. <gasps> a Vosk! <clears throat> oh, Endwalker! Oh, you took your time time, huh? All present, and let us proceed. Owen to the threat of the tower, the city is currently in a state of high alert, and strict restrictions are in place for entry. Though you haven't granted special permission, I ask that you remain close to me at all times. Go it, babes. Oh. Did I do that in time? Hi, Devil's Reject. Hello. Ooh. Oh, bitch. A vast rock squats upon Favnir. And to its stony surface clings the city of Rods at Han. Music to my ears. <laughs> Ye who enter here are subject to the scrutiny of gods, the gate's most watchful eye. The orb which beholdeth the truth of all things. So beautiful. Oh my god, look at the doors. Pass beneath its hot and piercing gaze, bearing down like a second midday sun. What the flashbang? <gasps> Wait, this is a little flashback. The fragrant haze, a mixture of sweet incense and acrid smoke. The cries of merchants mingled here with lively melodies accented by dancers' feet. <laughs> I'm obsessed. It's so pretty. Travelers seduced by vivid sound and colors were once swallowed up by patchwork streets. Jesus! But no such scenes to savor now. To what somber present does that divine eye bear witness? Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's so fucking pretty. I hope we can bring back bountiful joy to Rods at Han. This is so fucking pretty. It's so pretty. Here we are. 
Magadota. Oh. It seems a shame to bring you here directly. Under normal circumstances, it would have been my pleasure to show you the sights. I would have been honored. And it would have been our pleasure to see them. Alas, it seems our tour of the city will have to wait. I'm afraid so. Come, we should head inside. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Your Excellency, may I present our honored visitors? Oh. Ah, splendid. Most splendid. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ahawan, Satrap of Radzatan. Our alchemists tell me your assistance was invaluable in the creation of the Warding Scale. Such deeds ought to be recognized in person. Thus did I have young Varshan convey you here forthwith. On behalf of my people, may I express to you our sincere gratitude. Wait, Pepper looks cute. Wait, chat, give me one second. Like I said. I'm I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it, but I have to add it, chat. We got a plus one. I have to add it. I'm trying to not fuck up my eyelash my eyelashes. Happy happy I month, besties. Um um, I'll just, we'll just jump to the, we'll cut to the chase, but then Hannah, she was taken. A regrettable incident indeed. Her colleagues insist that we honor her wishes and trust in the talisman, that it will be instrumental in saving Nidana and the others. I am eager to hear your opinion on the matter, so let us not stand on ceremony. I can't have a Come, sit. Oh my god, his voice is like silk. I think not. Uh, oi! This charade has gone on long enough. Show yourself. Oh? Forgive me, but <laughs> were you expecting musicians, perhaps? There are no performers waiting in the wings at present, but arrangements could be made if you'd prefer. Estinian. Nay, he hath the right of it. The time for artifice is past. Raise the curtain. Is there a dragon? As you wish. Is the is their excellency actually a dragon? <gasps> you travel as a citizen to the students of the <laughs> But you are known to me. Wait. Even here have we heard of the science of the seventh dawn. I am Vritra. Ooh. And for years Chat. I've counted at this I'll serve. Hear me out. Mode. Chat, hear me out. Vritra of the first brood. Sibling to Hreisvelga and Nidhogg. <laughs> I, mine elder brothers. <laughs> Dude, this place just keeps getting better. <laughs> well, isn't this a surprise? We were told Rods at Han had an alliance with a dragon. Not that a great worm sat in the Sartrap's own hall. This is so fucking cool. A necessary subterfuge, as the true tale of our nation history illustrates most effectively. This is so cool. 
In the beginning, the rock upon which our city is built was home to Vitra and Vitra alone. In time, <coughs> the ancestors of the Matanga came to the island and established a foothold. But never did they dare disturb the worm's lair. Next to arrive with the Aura, guardians, huh? adopting the example of their Akasudra <coughs> allies, they too treated Vitra with reverence and respect. And for many years, an understanding between our forefathers and the Great Worm endured. Until marauding heroes from the mainland came, threatening to shatter our peace and tranquility. Humans. When it seemed all would be drowned in blood, Vitra himself came forth and quelled the rising conflict. A peaceful accord was reached, and oaths sworn in Vitra's name. Thus begun the dragon's governance of the fledgling state, which was to grow into Rad's art. That is so fucking cool, man. But if Vitra is still here, then your position as Sartrap is just... A charade. Yes. And one which my family has performed faithfully for generations. Many envy the Great Worms their power. Were it known that I ruled here, <coughs> and the fires of war would burn without end. I would not be the flame which consumeth my people. So is this Those how they get join me in the scales? Oh my god, the feathers! Oh my god! The, force. the design! Oh, the design! Give me my reptiles with feathers, Your baby! Eye. It was taken. Tis here. Buried within the semblance of flesh. The body before thee is but a simulacrum, constructed by the finest artisans of Razathan. With mine eye nestled within, it doth serve as an inconspicuous vessel for my will. Oh my god! That would explain why I felt the presence of a dragon. I told you! Meeting. No child fucking speaks like I this! I am woven with words fashioned to deceive such oh arcane my god. senses. Oh my god! Though to short live, it seemeth thy fusion with my brother hath left thee much altered. Destiny in warm blood. From the very first, we sensed the nature of one another, yet did neither one of us bear his fangs. That is all I need know of thee for now. With my secret thus revealed, Estinian silence for once says a thousand words. Not as a worm of the first brood, but as the ruler of Rad's Adan. With all haste must we take in hand the finished talismans and breach this foul spire. Thence, should it lay within our power, dispel its wicked influence. Yet even with the assurance of the warding scales, the narrow confines of the tower doth limit the size of our force. And thus denied strength in numbers, thou must choose thy soldiers with care. Just so. Yet though our radiant host is formidable, I see a surer path before me. Thou and thy comrades have contended with a multitude of primal beings. Most recently, thou didst cast down false gods in Padalthan and Kartanau, I am told. Yeah, I'm kind of cool. upon that strength I would call. The Scions have proven themselves the most <laughs> capable 
And I ask that you serve as the tip of our spear. Just the tip? Just the tip? Talismans would, of course, be provided for each of thy companions. And should you agree to this undertaking, more will be provided to make use of as you see fit. There's no denying it's a dangerous proposition, but the rewards may far outweigh the risk. Just think of what we might accomplish if we could equip all our allies with warding scales. Oh, I'm thinking about it. I worry, however, that even the four of us may be too few for what you have in mind. Might we regroup with our friends first to discuss the matter? Tis no trifling task that I have laid before you. Go. Steal your hearts and hone your plans. Such time as you require shall be spent in crafting your protective charms. It seems a quick trip back to Charlian is in order. Oh. Who's that? Oh, Estonian's Will already thou gone. not lend thine aid? Oh, he doesn't want to help a dragon, huh? Whether your request be made as a great worm or the ruler of Rods at Han, I see no reason to refuse. Nor will I. Miss Drama Queen. I am in thy death. Miss Drama Queen. <laughs> I'm walking out as a statement. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. So not only is this place like super like like Swana inspired, the ruler is also a fucking dragon. This place was made for me. This is my home now. This place is literally was literally made for me. I am going to like shit my pants this is so fucking cool it is so cool hi jay what's up <laughs> waiting for housing in rosalhan hey look maybe the fc house stays in imperium but maybe maybe pepper's gonna get a small little home here who knows <laughs> if that could be possible oh i'm obsessed i'm obsessed I'm getting a little bit tired, so I'm kind of like losing like my train of thought and and what have you. But like, oh my god, that meeting took a rather unexpected turn. But now we have a clear objective ahead of us. Let's rejoin our comrades in Charlie and muster a suitable crew for our foray into the Tower of Zot. Oh, and if you haven't already done so, be sure to attune to Ether right here before departing. Unless you, of course, you enjoy violent nausea. <laughs> okay, fair. Indian accents, Indian food, and more. I love it so much. I know it's our home, bro! Wait. Oh, do I just- do I speak to them? Wait, how do I- You fucker! How am I supposed to attune? Homeboy really said- Homeboy really told me to go attune! I can't even get in! <laughs> oh, you meant the great work one? Oh, <laughs> well, fucking- Whatever, we're going back to Charlian. Let's go do this. Thank you. Attune? Attune to me? Attuning to Syra? Hello? We are attuning? <laughs> <coughs> oh man. So fucking beautiful. I I am they have definitely made up for the chaos and disappointment that they bestowed upon me in Stormblood. I still cannot believe <coughs> that they gave us like a South Asian, like Middle Eastern inspired, you know, side plot with the, I don't remember their name, but with the snake people and Lakshmi. It's like, first of all, you're calling us snakes, cake, like kind of racist, but like whatever, they're cool. And then, and then you made Lakshmi a white woman with brown hair. Like, bro, rub salt on the wound, why don't you? Like, what the fuck? And like, she was beautiful, and her music was beautiful, and the the trial for her was 
gorgeous. I, I love it. But it's like, guys, really? Really? You couldn't do one thing right? Come on, Square Enix. Come on, Japan. Give us a little bit of melanin. Just a, just a crumb. Anatom, Atom, I think? The Anatom, Anatom, something like that, yeah. <coughs> Ananta? Ananta! Okay, yeah, that, that sounds more, more right. I think Anatom, that sounds like it's from Dragon Age, like the, uh, the Atan, or, or Atom. I think that's Dragon Age. It's like getting up to the finish line and then filming the bag, literally! They were so close, so fucking close. A crumb of melanin, perhaps restore some to each soul while we're at it. Yes, and thank it. Give them their skin tone back. This is getting used to the bomb, Ethapner. We're back in Chile, Charlian. Take care not to catch your death, eh? We need you for the battles to come. Now then, your investigation here remains, but when that's over, we can take stock of all of the developments and discoveries. Oh, hey, we're done! Okay, let me just swap to Sage. Let me collect that. Beautiful. And I Hey, that's what we like to see. And we got the fucking level up at the end of that. Beautiful. Sage is now level 89. So close to 90. All right, y'all. This is where I'm ending it. Yeah. And when we come back, we're going to be starting the Charlene quest line. Slowly making our way through the level 80 Endwalker quest. We're getting somewhere. I think it's definitely a good spot to end on. I'm doing great. We're killing it. I will not be live tomorrow, and if I am, it'll probably be PepperTube. I will try to be live uh, way later on Wednesday, maybe Thursday. I'm gonna do my best, I promise. I'll keep y'all updated on, on the interwebs. But for now, thank you all for hanging out with me. I will see you all on Twitter and on Discord. So don't forget to join my Discord server. That way you can stay updated with all my shenanigans and follow me on social media. For that same reason alone, I will bid thee all good night and sleep well. And don't forget about me. We're gonna raid. Who are we gonna raid? Who are we raiding? Let's raid Sarah. I love Sarah, so we're gonna go say hi to her. Raid Sarah Key. She's currently playing Xenoblade Chronicles. I don't know what Xenoblade Chronicles is, but it. Kinda looks like Genshin Impact. This actually looks a lot like Genshin Impact. Maybe Genshin Impact soul from Xenoblade. But anyway, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Bye, good night. Wait, this music, I just realized. <laughs>